Hello YouTubers and fellow Whovians and welcome to something which is actually rather different for this channel. I'm going to do a retro review on the quiz books which were released between 2005 and 2008. Of course each book was released for the first four series of the revived era of Doctor Who. So first off we take a look at the first book now this book was released late on in 2005, it just came out after the conclusion of the first series starring Christopher Eccleston and inside this book basically it has a lot of quiz categories which are based around the first series of Doctor Who. Bearing in mind it doesn't feature any questions which are to do with the classic series all of it is mainly series one and some other miscellaneous stuff about Doctor Who in general so on the front cover we've got the TARDIS the revived series TARDIS that is and it seems to be inside some sort of vortex you've got all these Gallifreyan symbols of course you've got the Doctor Who logo which was used for that particular era and this logo is used on the front cover of every book I will be showing you today in this review and at the bottom it just says quiz book unbeknown to them that this would be the first one released so we take a look at the sides it just says quiz book and it's got a bit of the time vortex along with the BBC logo at the bottom <coughs> and here's just a little bio at the back you've got a Dalek, you've got Rose Tyler, you've got the Mox of Balhoon you've got the Ninth Doctor and finally at the bottom we've got a Slitheen and it says at the bottom funnily enough not for resale I believe I might have got this for free in a magazine but because it's so many years ago I cannot remember what that must have been it might have been Doctor Who magazine I cannot really remember for the life of me taking a look inside you can see that the book has got a little bit mouldy because it's quite old now taking a look inside the book has got a little bit mouldy which is quite odd probably because it's a bit old and you've, got, you've got, just got these uh, promotional images which were taken from the first series and you've got your contents and here's all of your categories for this quiz book so you've got categories for each episode of series one which I think is good so you've got all these questions and yeah I'll just give you a look at one of the categories so if we go to well first of all if we just go to here you can see here are the answers upside down so it's not all at the back of the book which is what you usually get they're all at the back of each chapter which is good so here you've got a category on the long game and it has true or fa false questions so the TARDIS takes the Doctor Rose and Ammon to the year 200,000 uh, uh, 200, sorry I don't know what's up with me there uh, true or false I'm going to say true so if we take a look around and we look at the answer oh what do you know it's true you see using my Doctor Who knowledge there one thing I find during my filming of reviews is we always get some sort of interruptions for instance the doorbell could go or my phone could go off or as you can maybe hear right now we have a car alarm going off isn't that splendid the second of these quiz books was there we go. Ah, thank God it stopped. Now the second of these quiz books was released in 2006 and it was released just after series 2 was aired. On the front cover here we've got the 10th Doctor and 
a, another Dalek. It's the same old image of the Daleks that have been used ever since 2005. And sometimes are still used even today. And in the background you've just got a little bit of the Time Vortex. Which you see from the title sequence from that particular era. Once again it has 250 questions inside. And here you've just got a little bit of what's from the front cover and oddly enough that bit's like faded away at the top. Here you have an image from the beast and the werewolf and the TARDIS. And a little bio of what this book is all about. This costs £5 at the time, so that's 10 years ago. I wonder what that would cost nowadays in Brexit Britain. This side here we have another Doctor Who logo. We've got a nicely sort of illustrated image of the TARDIS there. And then there's all your contents. And like the last one, here you have all these images and they're like sort of illustrated, but at the same time they're actually images that were from the show, but they've done it in the style or sense that uh, they've actually been drawn in. That's, I think that's quite cool, I guess. So yeah, once again, you've got all these categories and you've got all these things like, what's this here? So, oh yeah, there's, those are some answers. So yeah, we actually have a colour section here and mainly pictures and stuff. So basically, what this is all about is naming monsters and you've even got some stuff which carries over from the first series. Which is nice. So it's not all just about series two. There are little nooks and crannies that reference series one as well. The third book was released after series three came out. And on the front cover we've got the Doctor and Martha Jones. And in the background you've got New New York and some Gallifrey symbols. Once again it has 250 questions inside. And on the side, again, you can see, weirdly enough, this bit has faded away. I don't know why, but here you've got more of New New York there. On the back, you've got more imagery of New New York, and it just gives you a little bit of bio. And you've got a picture here near the bottom of John Sims Master after he's just regenerated from Derek Jacobi's version. You've got Dalek Sec Hybrid along with the Tenth Doctor from Evolution of the Daleks. And at the very bottom you've got a Jadoon. Once again, like Quiz Book 2, this was priced at £5 or 4 99 if you want to be technical. And yet again you've got the Doctor Who logo and like the second quiz book, they've gone with the style of like everything being sort of illustrated as if it's all been drawn in. And it's basically all the same. And you've got this really nice category called Monster Merge. And basically you have to figure out which monsters have been merged with which. And again, like the first quiz book, it borrows some stuff from earlier series. So this quiz book basically combines like different questions which are all about the first three series not just series three and you've got an advertisement here for other Doctor Who books that came around this time do you remember all these fact file books I kind of remember them being all over in WH Smith that's the sad thing about it these days you hardly see anything like that anymore and it kind of sucks finally here is quiz book four and guess what? This came out after Series 4 was aired. This cover is quite a nice one. In fact, it might be the best one out of the first four, to be honest with you. You've got the Tenth Doctor, and in the background you've got his TARDIS, and you've got the TARDIS exterior here. And wouldn't you know, it's got over 250 questions inside, yet again. Weirdly enough, the spine of this is completely black, but will you keep still please? Keep still you Weirdly enough, 
the spine here is completely black, but once again, this Doctor Who logo here seems to be faded away. So, I guess that the, where I've put these books on the shelf or wherever, the sun's probably faded away, which is a shame. You've not got many stuff going on on the back of this book. You've just got a picture of Davros and a Dalek taken out of The Stolen Earth and Journey's End. This was priced at £5. So, even after the economy went bust during the Gordon Brown era, this was priced at £5. It's around the time when Northern Rock crashed, basically. And wouldn't you know, this time they've not gone with the illustrated look again. They've just gone with pictures that are just taken straight out of the actual show. And the colour bit is key moments. You look at scenes on the following pages, see if you can identify which of the Doctor's adventures they belong to. So basically, guess the episode. So I guess that's a nice round. It's beggar's belief this. Now I'm getting interrupted by the bins. It's beggar's belief this. Now I'm getting interrupted by bin men. It's just not my day for filming this, is it? And that rounds off my retro look at these four quiz books from nearly ten years ago now. Well, two of them have come out at least ten years ago now. One's come out nine years ago and another one came out eight years ago. I don't believe we ever got a quiz book five. I do believe we did get some more quiz books that came out during the Matt Smith era, but for one reason or another, I just don't remember ever being interested in picking them up. I don't know why I never got around to picking them up. But since then, they did release yet another quiz book, an even bigger quiz book, and that was the official quiz book, which was released just in time for the 50th anniversary, and that is a massive book, which I highly recommend you take a look at. I've already done a review of that about a year ago now, so if you want to take a look at that, then please feel free to do so. And in that book, you've got questions about not only the new series, but the classic series as well. So it's basically your dream quiz book for a Doctor Who fan. But at the time, these quiz books kept me entertained, especially as when these came out, I never actually watched a classic series before. Some people don't recall that the way I got into Doctor Who was actually with the new series. It was only a few years later that I actually started watching the classic series and I started getting a whole collective knowledge of the show overall. I remember back in late 2005 when I saw the first quiz book on the shelf, I got really excited because in 2005, it was a very good year for me. I saw Doctor Who for the first time. I was totally immersed by the show. I was really excited to see the Christmas Invasion coming out with the debut of a new Doctor. Unbeknown to me that there have been another eight of them before the ninth Doctor. While filming this, it's been quite fun. It's brought back some really good memories. And that concludes my review for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Take care guys and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.